What does it mean to be fit? Is it the physique approach of the bodybuilder with the six pack? The chisel pecs, the bulging biceps, the quads that crush watermelons, and the back of a demigod who's watching each and every morsel of their food before they consume it so that they arrive at peak shape on the day that they take stays that is literally minutes of just being judged. But that same human specimen isn't able to climb more than a few flights of stairs without breaking into a sweat. They've got to sleep with a CPAP machine because of the muscles are constricting on their airway. And yet sadly, a large amount of bodybuilders, they do have sleep apnea. Or well, their social life that just isn't a social life. Is that what it means to be fit? Perhaps maybe it's the top car swimmer who gladly tracks that thin black line head down, cycling their air left and right as they endure lap after lap of their daily training sessions and they seek to shred that 0.1, 0.01 even, of a second off their PB. But yet, like the proverbial fish out of water, they suffer exhaustion and fatigue when they enter into the rough surf. They get pummeled, they get tossed, they get put through the spin cycle to a state of frenzy that they for even forget the basic skills. It's a new environment. Is that what it means to be fit? Or is it the sprinter whose explosiveness sees them dash for cash, full tilt, done in a few seconds, who spends the next five minutes or so <gasps> sucking air like it's life itself. They've been deprived of the niceties. They're wincing in pain for a few short moments. Or is it their counterpart? The endurance, the long distance runner whose endurance is the sole focus on the fastest five, the 10 or even the marathon distance hours on the track, the road with just them, their breath, their heartbeat and pounding that pavement step after step. Is that what it means to be fit? Yet both the sprinter and the endurance runner struggle in the simple domain of a physical body weight session something that tests their physical and muscular endurance as they tap out quick as a flash at the sign of the failed rep or three. Or is being fit the power lifter whose feats of human strength in the pursuit of their one rep max will see them bleed for that quarter of a pound to endure the pain and the wraps, the power soups walking like the Frankenstein monster to the stage for three simple white lights. But after years of suffering in this space with poor mobility, stress fractures, pain in every joint, and then when the time comes that they've got kids so much pain that the simple act of picking up their child out of their cot brings them to tears. They struggle to reach in and out. Never mind the rehab that they're going to endure weekly to avoid the latter years of life in assisted living. Is being fit the cyclist, the velodrome quadzilla, the guy whose thighs are like redwood trunks, whose elegant aggression is masked with the severe chafing and the life after the sport, the dopamine hit is never going to be the same. And they became reliant upon a coping mizzen. That same rush, or the Tour de France endurance mountain goat who is used to being so on the solo that they struggle to fit back into general society. In the masses, the crowds, as the general pop, have got no idea of the brutality, both physically and mentally, that they have endured to get themselves to the pinnacle of their sport. And yet, they just simply get back on the horse in a social way, and they don't know how to do what they need to do. They don't know how to distance them further from their family and see what, what's good about the hours of having a numb bum in the saddle. Why did we even do all this? And simply, the family would prefer them to come and simply spend some time in front of the TV to just be me? Or is it the professional CrossFit athlete? We're told that they're the fittest on earth. It's an extension of their former athletic career. They're lifting and shifting massive loads in a short amount of time, running and climbing, box jumping, hitting the lactic pain trains in a single session. And if they're not prepared, they're falling into that constant cycle of its pleasure, its pain. But really, what's the long-term gain? What about if they simply settled for a daily routine? Something that we may already have. 
Now, I'm a big fan of CrossFit Athlete for what they endure, and the focus on the output is not the aesthetic, but all I question is whether or not this is what it means to be truly fit. What happens when the impingements become more regular, when relying upon a whoop strap or a Fitbit here to tell us what to do and what not to do each day, or the metrics, the metrics, they just tell you, what about just being you? Or is it the current social media go-to? It's the Navy SEAL, the Ranger, the Special Forces operative who trained in insane conditions like going for BUDS, which is basic underwater demolition school. They've carried logs over their heads in and out of oceans, rubber duckies above their heads, hours and hours of without sleep, being deprived and being in the pursuit of the top 1% of the 1%. Yet not once, not once has any of them ever said that on a mission they've had to carry that damn boat. On a mission they've never ever had to carry that damn log. On a mission they've never had to be so sleep deprived that some arsewipe is just at them the whole time. Yes, it is stressful, it is different, but are they truly the fittest? Yes or no is the question that I've got. But listening to them on podcasts of late, you think that they're a pharmaceutical representative. They're telling you that they're taking this pill, this potion, this magic lotion, just to simply get them through the day. Well, whatever happened to just eating well, resting, getting good sleep, doing something every day? I just, I don't get it. Now, yes, I'm in awe at the stories of how they got there and through selection, the stories of being engaged in the field, the memories they've shared about lost combatants, the comrades, and yet some remain glorified in that life. They're the people that struggle, the constant distress of getting back into daily life. And I do take my hat off to them, particularly for what they've done at an individual level. But let's be clear. It's a novelty that you, the masses, see. I like to hear this. I like to hear Jocko. I like to hear Goggins. I like to hear JP. I like to hear Mark Devine. Tell all this stuff, but the reality is, you guys, you're not prepared to do what they did just to be fit. Never mind put yourself through the mental torture of what they had to endure to endure the combat zone. Is it the modern day warrior, the mixed martial artist who trains in multiple disciplines to be ground and pound, taken down, punched, kicked, kneed and elbowed, all eight limbs into submission, enduring violence as their trade? And their commitment to the craft sees them rise fast to notoriety, only to fall just as fast and fade away into obscurity when the next big thing hits the marketing engine. Yes, fitness aside, we remain challenged by what to do when the spotlight gets turned off. And without the team of minders, trainers, managers, all keeping them aligned, they fade away and so does the fight in that dog. Or is being fit a different thing to each one of us? For some, it's simply being able to get out and run without pain each day. The hips, the back, the knees, for some, it's to be able to get out there and run, but go 50, 100 kilometers, an endurance event, and not be wheelchair bound for the following week on crutches because you just decided to push yourself a little bit more. Now, again, I've done these events myself and I've seen what people do, and yet I'm happy to say that the following day I can get up and go and play. And yet I've seen others push themselves so far that they're pretty much crippled for the week. I don't know what means to be fit. I'm happy with what I do. Is it the Spartan, the tough mutter, that when you're grateful that your hamstrings just didn't cramp halfway through, through the cold waters, the mud, the hills, the torture on what seems a forever, ever, ever ending sandbag hill with that 20 kilo piece of, uh, is that what it means to be fit? Or is it more basic that? Is it more basic it's getting good sleep, Waking up rested, being able to play with your child or even bend over into that cop with the firstborn without the fear that the back is gonna go again. To be able to run, play, throw and see them through their development years and as they become teens, still able to, for that 13, 14, 15 year old kid, still hold court with them one on one, show them that, hey, dad, I ain't sitting here on the sidelines, I'm here representing, come at me son. Maybe it's the person who still thinks they got game. Well, maybe it's better that than the finger pointers or sitting going, look at this guy who's embarrassing himself when they've 
Dads are just sitting there on the sidelines wishing they only could. For me, being fit means three things. It's about athleticism, it's about strength, and it's about resilience, not just physically, but also mentally. The ability to do what I want to do every damn day so I can keep up with the kids to be fitter in my 50s, 60s, and 70s and beyond to where one day I'm able to play with grandkids and not be comatose on the couch. To be pain-free, to be able to lift and shift stuff around the house, pick and carry the groceries from the car in one trip. To be able to be on the field the next day and not paying the price of the aches and pains and popping pills just to see me through. No half assed hacks, no gimmicks, all of the stuff because I have my shit sorted out. To know that the short term test of mental and physical duress is just that, it is short term, it is temporary, I will not tap out, you will drag me from the course because I'll be back here again tomorrow. So what's being fit to you? Do you have your three? Are they firm in your mind so much so that you don't even think about them? Because they're just a habit. You do them every damn day. Things you rinse and repeat knowing that the three that you pick will master your version of playing with the long game. Now, I'd be remiss if I did not end with this. Every month, I'll open up 10 spots to talk to people about what it means to be fit. Is what I do in my program something that will benefit you? If so, great. I'd love to. No pressure. No promises, just an opportunity to see if I can help you if you are willing to give this stuff a go. If you would like to know more, I would like to find out what your version of fit is. Come and have a chat. It costs you nothing but your time. And whatever that course of action is, just be that. Take action. My name is Don McStraw. I'm a conditioning performance coach here at the McStraw Method. And I'd love to have a chat with you and see if what we can do can help you too.